So this is the fish tank with the regular lighting, uh, the compact fluorescence. These are all the cichlids. It's nighttime now. It's, it's about eight o'clock at night, and that's what I get in the tank. What we did was we ripped apart that, uh, took it off the fish tank. This is where the compact went, right? So we took that out, and now we have it just the reflector part, and this is uh, what it looks like. So it's just going to be one big reflective mirror. This is in the unit already. So we got our our LED strip lighting. This is how it comes. It comes in a roll. This should be about 16 feet. And what we're going to do is we're actually, it has adhesive on it, and you can stick it to the metal, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want a chance with the steam and the heat from the fish tank. So we're going to put these tabs in. You can get them at Radio Shack. You drill a hole. I'll give you all the measurements. And then these place in, and you can put a tie wrap around them so it actually holds it in. And I'll show you. I'm going to put a series of them in this metal uh, this metal strip. And then what we could do is we just tie wrap these LED lights because we're going to cut them in strips of uh, four. All right? So we'll be back with that. Right, so what we did was we went into six-inch intervals from the base here. We went six inches, drew a center line, six inches, six inches, six inches, all the way up the top. And then we went in because we have four rolls of white lights, and then one center is going to be the color lights that we have. So what I did was I took my roller, and we went in a half inch for the first one, an inch and a quarter for the second one, and then two and a half for the center, and then so on and so on. Same thing, we turned it around, we went a half inch for the, uh, for the last row, and then the one in would be an inch and a quarter. So this way they're spaced evenly, and then you could fit one row of white, one row of white, one color, one row of white, and one row of white. And that'll be stripped all the way down. So now we're going to drill our holes in those locations. And we're going to drill a quarter inch hole to fit those connectors. So all the holes are drilled now. So we drilled five holes across each line. And what we're going to do now is we're going to actually put these fittings in the hole. So you just go in, they pop. That's it. So now when you lay your when you lay your strips, your strips will be laying on here. We're going to go ahead and put all those in, and then we'll okay, come back. So all our uh, connectors are in. And by the way, these are all tie wrap connectors. Um, and what I mean by that is absolutely, you can see the tie wrap. Tie wrap goes through them, zip ties or whatever you want to call them, uh, to actually hold the light in. So everything is plastic. Nothing's touching the metal. And that's what these clips are. So we're going to take our tie wrap, we're going to loop it through, and that's all it is. And the, the lights will sit on top, as you'll see. But there they are. They're all the way down the line, and they're all installed. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually start stripping the, the lights down. And if I didn't show you before, these are the LED lights that would actually sit on top of these uh, connectors, these zip ties. One of the problems that we're finding with this um, these LED lights is that there's two types of LED lights. Um, this one is a waterproof. I'm going to try to hope you can see it. Um, if you can see that coating on it, it's if you can, I split it off right there. It's like a rubber coating on top, and that's what keeps the LEDs waterproof. And I bought that being that we're going to go in the fish tank. Uh, we might want to have it guarded between waterproof. So again, you can see those two copper tabs there. So the connectors that I did buy, which are these. They sell a lot of connectors so you can just plug and play. So you're supposed to be able to slip them on and then you close the top and it locks it on and then you can just wire it in. The problem I'm having is if you notice that is waterproof, these aren't. These are the RGB ones, um, the color ones, the strip. So those are the color LED lights. And if you can see where it cuts, there's four copper tabs which fit into that connector that I just showed you. This is not a waterproof uh, unit. I'm not going to worry about it too much because I do have a waterproof housing, so I'll still put the strip in, but you might want to consider that if you're, um, you're going to do the design on your own. Uh, so all I had to do was really um, peel back that insulation, 
with an X-Acto knife, and then expose it to copper uh, pieces. And then what I did was I hit the two uh, copper tabs with some solder, I don't know if you can see it, right there and right there. And then I'll take some wire, and I'll actually solder it on. You can't leave the heat on too long. You just got to hit it real quick, and it'll put a tab of solder on. And then I'll put some heat shrink on. And I'll come back and show you what we that looks like. Solder the wires back on. On, not back on. <laughs> um, and what I do is before I'm going to do anything with it, I'm gonna actually going to test it. So I have a bench power supply that I'll hook up my 12 volts to. And as you can see, they're, they're lit. And that makes me uh, glad that I can do that. And what I'll do now is I'll put a piece of heat shrink on over the connector there. And uh, this way I don't have to worry about them pulling off. Go ahead and see if we can do the heat shrink. So the air gun there will actually shrink the... Uh, And there it is. At least it has a nice piece of uh, piece shrink on it. And that should make it at least, at least uh, tight from pulling off. Okay, so we put our first row in of the LED lighting. There's the end, because I know that's where the power is going to come in from. And again, if you see, I can give you a good picture of it. There's how it looks. So it's actually stripped down tied down to each tie wrap holder and those yellow dots are the LED lights so that'll go right the uh, strapping is right between the LED lights and that's it so they're they're secure they're down they'll be flappy here but at least they're down and they don't uh, I don't have to ever worry about them heating up and falling off the metal plate so when you get to the end here's the end of the line you still have the roll. If you look closely though, you could actually, if I see I can get it close enough, there are these little four copper dots. And on those four copper dots are where you can cut. These are cut lines. There are basically every three LEDs will have a cut line on it so you can customize it. And a probably better view, all those coppers. So it's three yellow, then four dots, that's where you can cut. And we're going to actually snip it, um, snip it off right now. So let's see if I can hold it and give you a, a shot at the same time. So there we are between the copper dots. And then we snip. And that's it. Now it's cut. So you'll end up with two copper dots on one side and two copper, copper dots on the other side. And that's your cut line. And then we'll start running the other line now. So. There is a strip, the first strip. Okay, so all the uh, LED strips are in. As you see, they're about four feet each strip. So I have the two outer ones are the white LEDs. The one center one is the color, and then there's two white on the other side. So it's a total of four white and one color. There's all the wiring at the end, and we'll splice all those in, and uh, we should be all set. We'll get back. Okay, so now we got all the uh, wiring done. So there's all the plugs. This will be the power plug that actually plugs into the power to power up to 12 volts. And if I didn't mention that before, these are all 12 volt lighting. Uh, you could use them in your car, uh, anywhere you want it has 12 volts. And they give you the power supply when we bought these, so it came with a 12 volt power supply. This is the uh, white module here is the um, the relay module for the colors, and that's what this strip is here. So there it is, all tie wrapped in, all ready to go. So we're going to mount it now and uh, we heat shrinked and soldered all the connections so that's all watertight. And we'll mount it in the housing and turn it on and we'll get back. Okay, so here we are, we're back in the housing now. It's all screwed in the housing. Let me pan out a little bit. That's what it looks like in the housing. So now the housing will actually go on to the fish tank. Here's your power cord. We'll plug that in. And now we're going to drop it on and see what it looks like. Well, matter of fact, we can 
let's say we plugged it in and there you go four rows of LED lighting with the blue lights in the middle and we can arbitrarily change those whenever we want we could change the red green blue fade in fade out so for night times we could do that all right well then we're going to mount it to the fish tank this is now after the LED lighting is installed this is uh, the cichlid tank with uh, full lighting I'm really happy with it uh, at least now you can see everything just to give you an idea of what it looks like the colors are a little more vibrant looks really good so that's it LED lighting for uh, 30 bucks